my top favorite new skincare products from 2020 and what I'm doing for my winter skin. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. Today, I'm going to tell you about just a couple products that I got in 2020 in the line of skincare products that I have added to what I already do. And I'm very happy with all of them. And I'm also going to tell you what I'm doing for my winter skin. Before I get started, welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, ring that bell for all future notifications, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. All right, well, I'm not going to go over all my skincare that I use. I have a video where it shows my morning and evening skincare, which I can link below. But these are some additions, things that I have incorporated into my normal skincare routine that I found and discovered in 2020 and started using in 2020 and I'm very pleased with. So let me get started on that. First, I'll just tell you I still use the Timeless uh, CoQ10. I use the Timeless Matrixel 3000 and uh, Vitamin C. And that's pretty much it. But I've, I'm changing my Timeless 20% Vitamin C L Ascorbic Acid plus E plus Ferulic Acid. I have changed this out to this brand. This is Deer Skin. I get this from Amazon. This was recommended to me by Penn Smith from Penn Smith Skincare. I get a lot of good recommendations from her and I trust her. She is so thorough, so knowledgeable, and I, I follow her. This is the, the same, only it has one extra thing. This has the L ascorbic acid, 20%. It has the ferulic acid, um, plus vitamin E, but also hyaluronic acid. And I'm telling you, this has taught this. And I've been using Timeless since I started my channel and found out about it through Mary Ellen from Mary Ellen After 60. Now, I'll tell you what's been bothering me about this Timeless. Before they came out with this new packaging and it came in the blue uh, glass bottles, I'm telling you, it was different. Maybe it's just me. Please tell me if you use Timeless and you used to use the old packaging. When they put it in the new packaging, is it reformulated? Is there something different in it that I'm unaware of? Because I don't like this. I thought I had gotten a bad bottle because it had kind of a funny smell. And so I got another bottle. They were very kind to replace it for me. Well, it smelled the same. So that was my number one problem, the smell. I just can't stand it. And I've never heard anybody complain about the smell. The only person that mentioned it was Angie from Hot and Flashy. She uses this and she loves it and highly recommends it. But she did say it smells like hot dog water. <laughs> I don't know if that's how I would describe it. To me, it smells like metal or something, uh, like I smell chemicals or a metal smell. And another thing, it's not as liquidy or as fluidy. It, um, it dries. Like the minute I put it into my hand, you know, pump this and put it into my hand, before I can get my hands together to put it on, before I could just do a few drops and I could cover my whole face. Well, now it's like it's drying, like there's a drying alcohol in it that I can't spread it the same. It's just totally different for me. Anyhow, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but 
it sure is for me. So, okay, I'll put a little on here. Well, of course, you're not going to be able to see a liquid. But it just, it's already dried in. It's dry. And normally, my face feels a little wet for, you know, a few minutes when I put on my vitamin C. So, I switched to this deer skin. And let me see if I can show you. Again, you probably won't notice it. There. It's, it's thin, too. And it's watery. Here it is. If you can see that at all. It's running down my hand. When I rub that in, look at that. Can you see that? It's still wet. It's still, like, glistening. It's just, oh, I love it. It feels wonderful. Where this stuff, it just, it just disappears. It just dries up before I can get it on my face. So, I don't know, but that's one change that I have made. I still use the 20% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, and this has hyaluronic acid. But I'm just sticking with this deer skin brand. Okay, another product that is new to me for 2020, and this was also recommended by Penn Smith. And this is the uh, Costa Baja, let me read it exactly, Costa Baja Peptide Serum. Okay, this has uh, Matrixyl 3000 peptide, Argyroline peptide, niacinamide, vitamin B3, and hyaluronic acid as the active ingredients. And even though I still use the Timeless uh, CoQ10 and, and their Matrixyl, I use this one too. And I'll probably switch over to this permanently. I love this. Now, this is thicker. Okay, it's more like a serum. Can you see that at all? See how it's not really running down my hand. It's not as watery. And, wow, it feels fantastic. And that's what I love about it, because it's, it's not just that watery type. It's got a little bit of, uh, well, like a serum in it. And again, it takes a few minutes to soak in. So I feel like it just, I like the way it sits on my skin. And I get this from Amazon. Like I said, Penny recommended it. So I have added this. And when I finish up my timeless, Matrixyl 3000. I'm going to discontinue that and switch to this. Another product that's new to me for 2020 is this CeraVe Retinol Cream. This was recommended by Dr. Dre. I'm sure many of you watch her channel. And this is a resurfacing retinol cream, three ceramides, um, licorice root extract, and niacinamide. I did talk about this earlier in the year on my channel. I really like this. And I'll use this, like, I'll use Retin-A for two nights, and then I'll use uh, this for two nights, and then I'll take a night and do something else. So I just kind of alternate so that I'm not using... Uh, tretinoin, you know, seven days a week. But this is really nice. And you could get far more information if you look it up on Dr. Dre's channel because she's a dermatologist and she really goes over all the ingredients. But this has been great for me. I love it. Another new product. Let me see. I only have two more. Is this Derma E. Now, this was recommended from Dawn, uh, Dawn After 40, Dawn's Life After 40. I don't know. I'm sorry, Dawn. I'm drawing a blank. But anyhow, I'm sure you all know Dawn. And she is a registered nurse and is very knowledgeable in skin care. This is the Derma E Essentials Overnight Peel Alpha Hydroxy Acids. 
and it's a skin brightening non-abrasive blend of alpha hydroxy acids that exfoliates overnight to have visibly smoother skin and it really does this stuff is really nice and i use it one or two nights a week if i'm not doing my um retinol serum or my tretinoin now let me tell you a little bit about this this has glycolic acid lactic acid malic acid jojoba seed oil and a vitamin c ester and it's just a cream put a little on my hand is still glistening from that i love that it's just a white cream like this it goes on very, very easy. It's very creamy. It's not real thick or anything. It just, it goes on so nice. And you just put that on. And when you get up in the morning and wash your face, like Dawn said, your skin just feels so good. And it really does. So thank you, Dawn, for recommending this. I really, really love it. And my last new skincare product that I added this year was also recommended by Dr. Dre. This is the Misha, the first treatment, Misha Time Revolution, the first treatment mist. Now this is an essence and this is great for hydration, brightening, it has chamomile extract in it and other great ingredients. And again, she could tell you all about it. And she loves it. And she's been using it and repurchasing it. And the reason why I love this so much is I've been doing uh, something different with my skin for the winter. Now, granted, I live in South Carolina. We don't have harsh winters or snow or, you know, terribly cold weather like they do up north. But it does get colder here especially in January and February. And December was pretty darn cold overnight and in the early morning. Well, I was watching Shelly from the channel Geek Out of Water, and she has dry skin like I do. I have dry skin. I'll be 70 years old in May, and the older I get, the drier I get. Now, it's not too bad in the summer because we have humidity here, so you're not going to dry out. But in the winter, I can get even drier than I already am. Well, she was saying that she started doing the Korean 7-step seven, seven skincare method. And I'll try to explain it like she did, but you could watch her video on it. Hers was excellent and what you do is after you wash your ha hair <laughs> after you wash your face in the evening and while your face is still damp you're going to pile on hydration i mean you're really going to hydrate your skin and they call seven layers like shelly said you may only need five layers or you may need ten layers you'll know when you've had enough when your skin stays damp to the touch. And until it does, keep piling it on. So while my face is damp, I put on my beloved Sukiata Sahada Urea Lotion. This is just like water. It is fantastic for moisturizing. Oh my gosh, that gives you so much hydration. Put a few drops in, pat it into your face, and that's to get it all over. And then go right back in, do a second, a few drops, three or four drops. Do your hands together, pat that all in. When you're done with that, take some water from your spigot, or I have this Avene uh, thermal water in a can, which, you know, why pay for water in a can? But anyhow, <laughs> I got this from the esthetician. Um, so then you spray your face with that water or get some from the sink, put it on your hand, pat that in. Then I go on to my secret key 
Essence. I love this too. This was also recommended by Penny Smith. And I've been using it all year. And let me tell you about that. It has galactomyces in it, which is ferment filtrate, rice bran extract, centella asiatica, and other really good hydrating ingredients. So I put a few drops of that. It's real watery and liquidy too. I pat that all in really good. I do another one of these. So, so far that was two of these, two of these, one water, then I spray it again with the water. So I'm doing six, but a couple times I've done three and three and three in the beginning because my skin needed it. Well, now I can get to that hydration level in about six and it is wonderful. I just love it. Oh, I also, I forgot to tell you, um, this Nisha Time Revolution Mist, Essence Mist, this is one that I added this year. Well, I use this too. Instead of, you can just spray it on your face, but I spray it into my hands, go like this, and put that in too. So that's a lot of layers of just hydration. And Shelly said it has made a world of difference in her skin. And it has in mine. I have noticed such a difference. I mean, you can't imagine how hydrated your skin feels. And it feels so good. So I am so grateful that I watched that video of hers and learned about this. I had heard about the uh, seven uh, skin care method, but I never really looked into it or were, saw anybody do it until I saw Geek Out of Water do it. And I thought, you know, she's got dry skin and she's in her 40s. Imagine me, almost 70. You know how dry I am. I had dry skin to begin with. So anyhow, that's what I'm doing. If you live in a really cold climate and have harsh winters and you're getting dry, you might want to try it. You don't have to use these products. Just use any type of essence toner that's hydrating and just keep piling it on. And you only need a few drops and press it into your skin and then take a few more and keep pressing. And you'll see as it gets to the level it needs to be, it, it no longer dries completely down. You've got that moisture, that hydration that you can feel in your skin. And that feels fantastic. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you about today. I did my um, 2020 best favorite makeup drugstore makeup products for the year. And I wanted to do this. And... The last thing I'll do is just my 20 favorites for the year. 20 products or things from 2020. It's the video Natalie and Mary Ellen and Carol did. And that's more lifestyles, just odd and end stuff. That will come up next. So anyhow, I wanted to share this all with you. If you use a, an essence or a toner that's real hydrating and you want to recommend it, please leave it in the comment section because I haven't tried any other ones. I'll never replace these two, the um, Sukiata Suhada Urea and the Secret Key, but I'll be happy to add more. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. Well, for today's Inside Beauty tip, I just want to talk. I want to talk about Inside Beauty. This all came to me as I was preparing for this video. I'm lining up, you know, all these products and getting them all out here and thinking about um, the videos that I watched where I got the recommendations for most of these products, the time it took to watch those videos, the research I did myself, checking the ingredients, and 
just the time involved in putting them on. Whether it be, you know, your skin care for your face or your body or your hair, all the different hair products we use, that all takes time, you know, regardless of what you're doing. And we put that time into it because we want to have the best that we can have. We want to have the best skin we can have. We want our hair to be in good condition, shiny, manageable, you know, colored right, different things like that. So that all takes time and research and watching videos or reading articles to make these choices on what we're going to use. And I thought, you know, for the amount of time that I spend, and I don't think it's an exorbitant amount of time, but I do take the time to try to take care of myself on the outside, that same amount of time has to be devoted for the inside, for your soul, for your spirit. I mean, why not? At least equal time, if not equal time, some time we need to give to our inside beauty, to grow ourselves, to expand what we know, to think about our actions and what we say and what we do, to think about how we can help other people, to think about how we can bless other people, to think about bearing fruit, showing kindness, and goodness, and, and joy, and love, and all those things. It's worth the time and studying God's Word, getting to know God on a very intimate level. You know, our inside beauty is not going to fade as our outside beauty will. We can always do our best to look our best, but we're, we continue to age, and that beauty changes. We get older, but inside we don't. That beauty can go on and on and, and actually become younger, I think, because the more we know, the more beautiful inside we become the more we practice these things. So to take the time to talk to God, read his word, um, do a devotional, pray, whatever it is that you do for you, to grow yourself inside, to have more compassion for people, to show more empathy, uh, to live a spirit-filled life. That takes time too, and it may take research or studying, like I said, um, listening to a preacher or your sermon in church or synagogue or whatever you do. That takes our time, and we need to devote that time. If we are going to give all this time to products in a bottle and try them and use them everywhere and get excited about it, then we can take a little time for our spirit inside. And it, it only benefits us. You could even do it at the same time. In other words, I'm talking about putting these, <laughs> excuse me, seven layers of uh, essence and hydration into my skin. Well, for each one, I could, I don't know, I could just say like, all right, I'm putting this on now. Uh, Lord, show me how to be more compassionate. Show me how to bless somebody. With each bottle I pick up, show me this or show me that. Show me how I need to grow. Show me where I'm falling short and I need to put more time in. 
you know, that's one way of doing it. If you feel you can't sit down and, and open something up to read or listen to a sermon for an hour. I mean, maybe you can. I'm just saying if you can't, that's just another way. You know, it's not so much that we spend an hour or two hours or that. It's how sincere it is and how much it comes from our heart. And just spending that time connecting with God, being intimate with Him, and just asking for His help in whatever way you feel you need it. You know, get some more love in here. You know, let me have some more kindness. I feel I'm a kind person, but you can always be kinder. So if I'm going to take this and take the time to put it on my face, I should take the time to at least ask God for his help to deepen my level of compassion or kindness or understanding or whatever it may be. And all that came to me just from taking the time to get this video ready. And I just wanted to share it. So, I hope that you look at your inside beauty as well as your outside beauty. And that's what God sees. He sees our inside beauty. That's what really matters. That's what's not going to die, not going to age, and not going to fade unless we don't take care of it at all. Well... Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for spending your time with me. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.